Hey y'all, we are here with Theo X, a Danish musician, recording artist extraordinaire, mm -hmm. who's gonna be telling us what Danish musicians we should be listening to if we don't know Danish music and we're, like us, foreigners living in Denmark. So, yeah, I think this is gonna be an exciting chance for us to expand our horizons, yeah. and maybe you guys out there can find some new artists as well if you're not familiar with Danish music. So, Theo, let's, let's start with it. Who would you say is your favorite Danish artist and the number one on our Spotify list we should get to know? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's uh, such a hard question. Yeah, sure. It? Yeah, why uh, didn't you it? It's more like, uh, Maybe we can say who I'm a bit obsessed with at the moment. I That's think. a good one. Yes. Yes. Because who's on the top of your playlist? Yeah, right? I think right now I'm, I found this new kid. I think he's quite young. He's called August Hoyen, spelled H O Y E N at the end. And he's oh my god, the lyrics he writes. It's like indie, a bit like um, folk, but mixed with like electronic beats and stuff. And it's very down to earth and. He has this song called Vinder Skinner, like your friends shine and glow. And it's like Ooh. like the coming of summer and your <sighs> friends start to shine. And this, well, I think he he's straight, it doesn't really matter, but this partner you had during the winter that was like your comfort uh. and now the friends <laughs> and the fun is maybe a bit more shining. And I yeah. think we can uh. kind of all remember that when Relatable we were content. At, yes. at that age and just that whole album. And uh, yeah, he's really good. Uh, so August Hoyne, yeah, really August good. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to find Adding that. One. How about a classic? Is there like a classic Danish artist mm. that uh, somebody say grew up in the U.S., moved to Denmark mm. in their thirties, and just wants to dive into Danish culture? If it's not going like way, way, way back, like one of my biggest that I grew up with is Sebastian, um, a Danish. Uh, like folk singer he also did musicals and stuff but I think that might be a little bit I've played it for my partner and he has a very like Bob Dylan you mm. either love Ooh. it or hate it if ah, that makes sense it. with the voice so if it wasn't him I would probably say Tina Dikau uh, maybe um, because she both have albums in English and in Danish ah, uh, yeah. and uh, she just has like a mesmerizingly calm beautiful voice like there's no American frills, if that makes sense. Like, no, but she could do them. Unapologetically so like, Danish. Yes, it's very style. Yendelo. <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> uh, but still some amazing songs about, that really resonates with you. And uh, she has this song she wrote during COVID uh, called, it's in Danish, but it's called Are We Humans or Are We uh, a Machine? Uh, it's called Menske eller Maschine. And, oh. It's fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. give it a listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really I'll give you one more chance to just say Kim Larsen, so you don't. Uh, and Kim Larsen. Yeah, okay. It's also good. <laughs> I'm just just looking out yeah, for yes. the comments. I know they're gonna. Oh but, God. But Sorry. I will say that's something that like like Kim Larsen is something that when we've talked to Dane, like it's all like always comes. It's up. always it's usually yeah. the starting point. Usually the starting point. Yeah. And, we, and we were the here. Gateway to Danish mm. music. And we were here when he passed away. So oh. like when all the tributes were going on for him, like what is what is Kim Larsen to? Can, can you explain? Because like, we've listened to it and like. It sounds good, but like, yeah. explain it. Cause I think it's, it's gotta be a deeper level for, for but, a Dane. Yeah, it it is like, I'm at like a weird position because we didn't really hear Kim Larson in my home. Oh. Uh, like my mom listened to all the American folk singers mm -hmm. and Sebastian. So that was kind of like, uh, so for me, I'm actually more in awe of him like retrospectively because he's mm -hmm. come into my life uh, later a little bit, but it's I think the way he writes and the way he sings, it just feels so natural. And then in his songs, there are these little uh, language nuggets. Like he has, um, he has this one that I always love that says, uh, "Life is long and happiness is short, so um, it would be unsacred to give it away." Mm. Yeah, live the lang lungen accord. Salia den der tager give det bort. And I, I love that lyric. It always resonates with me. Like, protect your happiness. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think he means something different to everyone, but everyone grew up with him in their own way. So mm. it's part of national history. They could yeah. preserve him and put him in the Natural History Museum and people would bring flowers <laughs> I think <laughs> if that makes sense yeah but music awesome. is history and culture yeah, absolutely. and the language like, I, I 
Yeah. yeah. I think he encapsulates a lot yeah. of that. that At least was, from my perspective, outside so looking in. So unapologetically himself yeah. to the day he dies. He didn't want to play anywhere where he couldn't smoke inside. <laughs> and then, like even in interviews, like they stopped having him on TV because <laughs> like oh. he would have like, want an ashtray, you know? <laughs> like, uh, and if they didn't want, he just wouldn't come. And that is he did so not Danish. Get uh, so shit. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's very That's Danish. Awesome. How about um, how about like a, a, uh, a recent uh, Eurovision maybe entry from Denmark that oh. you would suggest? A recent Eurovision, or it could entry. go back in history up to. Mm, that's hard. <laughs> the, yeah, I, well, it's hard recently. You're right. Yeah, we haven't done so well, no. have we? Uh, and uh, maybe trying not to uh, diss any of my colleagues yeah. who actually write some of these songs. Sure, sure. but uh, they need to up their game a little bit. Yeah. Is what I feel. We 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 miss a bit of you know. Uh, Raindrops. So I think that was good, mm. and maybe also the uh, Olsen brothers were a little bit of a holy shit, what happened uh, <laughs> mm. kind of way. But it was just, I think, very true to what they wanted to do. Instead of trying to do all these like boppy songs, sure. like uh, I would love to see a Eurovision where we had, you know, a folk song and a musical song and a country <sighs> song and you know the dance pop, like a more variety, and then mm. just let the fucking Danes pick. Yeah. Sorry, and I'm gonna swear. Fuck the jury. Yeah. Like, get that shit out of there. If you wanted to be Dansk Melodi Grand Prix, then let the Danes vote. And yes. that's just how we do it. There's so much good music in Denmark. Too, yeah. That sometimes, not, not, and again, not to, not to diss anybody. They've got no. more talent musically than I do <laughs> by leaps and bounds. But if you're gonna compete, mm. send the best. I know, but it's because our Eurovision is stigmatized. It's not like Sweden and mm. elsewhere, where it's like a, it can be a blow up for your career. Yes. It's more like a come down. Like right. artists who used to have maybe a flourishing career and now their songs are not really hitting, they will go on Eurovision to see if maybe they can get like a final bob out and get the radio royalties from Europe if, uh, it, uh, if it hits. gets picked, you know, because yeah. it's a lot of money. Um, but I think it should be the other way around. Yeah. Mm. We should take the young, they don't have to be young, because I'm not that young anymore. But <laughs> it should. you should look at it as an opportunity, be like, oh my God, this is the best song I've like ever Moonskin. written. Yeah, like Moniskin yeah. from uh, Itali Italy. Italia. Right. Um, like, this is the best song I've ever written. Maybe I should save it for Eurovision. Dry. I want young artists yeah. to think that way, yeah. if that makes sense. 100%. But we have a way to go. So I can't really mention anyone. Is that <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fine. That's, that's fair. Yeah. I think it's a that's a that's a noble critique. But uh, maybe Theo X will be on Eurovision. At I some know. Point. I am down for because that. I love Eurovision and I want to make it cool. So yeah. I always think when I write a good song, I'm always like, "Ooh, could this be Eurovision?" But now the songs are like five minutes long. So <laughs> right. So you're you got to cut it down. Yeah. I the know. radio edit. Yes. The, the Eurovision edit. edit. Yeah. Yeah. How about um, one more artist that? people should go to and dive into Danish music with. Mm, yeah. I think the first one I thought of when you asked me that question was Katinka mm. or Katinka Band, I think they're called. And she's this lovely down-to-earth girl, also very folky. Everything I'm suggesting now is like very deep and meaningful. But mm. uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, she has like, we're not pretty enough to dance and 10,000 meters in free fall. And it's fantastic music and then i think if i just have to suggest something that's completely on the different side of the spectrum and also as like a go to this concert it's a uh, benjamin howe who uh, is a danish rapper uh, oh. and he's like a family dad i think he's over 40 and like just writes these lyrics that are like so insanely funny and insanely deep and insanely stupid that's and his awesome. live shows are batshit like Everyone should go and witness that with his family. <laughs> his, it's called Benjamin Howe and his family. And that's awesome. Everything is choreographed like it's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So I think one other thing maybe you can explain to us as well. There's a huge kind of, I'd say like kind of family singing tradition in Denmark. There's mm -hmm. the high school songs. There's the songs that you, you sing on Sankan's Day. There's the yeah. songs around All the Christmas school. tree. Yeah. Can you explain that a little bit? Because I'd say in, in the U.S., like we don't have kind of like no. a songbook that that's, uh, that that people just sing. There's some like common songs There's we have. There's classics, but but not that not you to the grow level. up singing. Yeah. No, 
It's a lot more singing in Denmark. Yeah. yeah, it was actually fun because I had my British family over here, like my partner's family, for Christmas, and then we sang all the Danish songs, and then we looked at them and said, <laughs> "So what so are the oh sorry? So what are the British Christmas songs?" And <laughs> <laughs> my partner's grandma said, "Oh, we can do um, we can do the Wham one." <laughs> 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 yes. yes. So, I and I was it. like, "Why don't we do yeah, that?" Why not? I think it might be the first time anyone has done <laughs> wham, <laughs> wham, 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 wham Danish at a Christmas Danish tree. Tree. I yeah. love that. I don't know where it stems from. I think it stems from our high school, uh, like uh, that started like in the 1800s or wherever, and just been carried generation through to generation. And also with that, how proudly we guard our traditions is something we don't really take. We don't want to take it for granted, so we. It just keeps going, That's I awesome. think, and it's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No complaints. No, 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 no. That was by when we were in Danish class. We oh, we recreated yeah. that in secondary. You yeah. again and yeah. ran yeah. around the classroom. Yeah. And Almost burnt out. Yeah, we had candles. We had and candles beer and, and, and knocked and them over, and, <laughs> and it was very Danish Christmas. <laughs> Have you ever been to a Danish party where people write their own song no. on uh, like a Danish? It could be anything like a. Yes, actually, f- a friend uh, had a 40th. Oh, yeah, and party. they wrote a, a, and a wrote special song. A special song. That's yeah. very Danish. So yeah. you take a song that everyone knows and then you rewrite the lyrics to be about that person. Oh. Yeah. I want somebody to do that for me. Yes. Today. Your birthday's coming up. Yeah. I'll take care of that. that. If you invite <laughs> Danes, they could. <laughs> for be my 40th, I got COVID. <laughs> right. Oh, <God>. No songs. <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 Okay. I need to do that. And mm-hmm. if you thank you, Theo X, yeah, and so you welcome. can catch uh, our entire interview on our podcast. And if you want to learn more about Danish holidays, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hi. 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 Hi.